Welcome back to the Alienware Arena and to game number four, Grubby versus Sarovati. Grubby leads 3-0 as we move on to Antigua Shipyard. Yeah, man, it's uh, it's looking very grim for our challenge here, but hey, I still sort of believe, man. Hopefully he's at least able to take one or two maps. Grubby is even giving him a small pep talk, saying like, ah, oh, just treat it as practice, man, don't worry. And then Sarovati said like, well, it's kind of like a stomping. And then Grubby said, well, everyone needs a good stomping once in a while. Just look at me in the up and downs. And I definitely think that's true as well, man. Like uh, yesterday, Saravetti had an absolutely fantastic day. Uh, everything went well for him. He won his local land. He won the North American side of the Alienware Arena Challenge. Uh, but right now, today, it's sort of like back to reality, getting a good reality check, a check showing that he still has lots to learn. Perhaps we're going to see it on Antigua Shipyard, as that is going to be our fourth game. Oh, man. So I'm, uh, I'm almost wondering if uh, if Saravati has given up on himself at this point. He typed GLHF before he moved his probes. It took a good 10 seconds for him to start mining. Yeah, uh, I, saw, which, I saw that as well. He's, uh, which, like his probe production is like four or five seconds behind the one of Grubby. Which, um, it, the truth is, guys, it's probably never going to decide a game, but it does, it's also not going to put you in a good place mentally, uh, starting five, 10 seconds behind. Uh, so he is his... already. What is he doing with his probe? Maybe just checking for proxies. He is down 03, so Grubby could do just about anything at this point. Uh, that would be his. Yeah, I guess you're right. But that's kind of far away to proxy here, though. Like, I don't really think a lot of people want to proxy all the way there. And then by the time the Dozelles arrive, uh, you should be able to deal with it. So Reddy is uh, still rallying his first probe across the map right now. He was talking a little bit about the lack. Apparently, he doesn't have the best connection uh, to the place where he's from. But oh, four just Grubby's... down. But in Grubby's defense, uh, we're going to have to admit, though, that uh, Grubby is actually the player playing from uh, Korea. So um, it's kind of weird when a player starts running about lag when he's playing on his local server and you're actually the one playing cross server. So the Forge is down. He's going to reveal it immediately. Grubby is going to see it despite it on the low ground. Saravetti is going to get the wall up down. And he's immediately going to try to drop that final uh, drop to cannon. Uh, what is Grubby going to do? He's going to get a second. Uh oh. This is a good cannon rush so far, man. As you said, man, uh, that forge is down. Oh, Grubby just trapped that probe. Man, that's so sick. But actually, it's still going to squeeze out, so it doesn't really matter. First pylon is in production, and Grubby's going to be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, man, right? buddy. That's your first you probe. probe. Trapped in the second probe, nearly trapped. Uh, Grubby is, uh, I think, reacting to this pretty well. Uh, Grubby uh, knows that it's all about high ground vision, as long as he does not give high ground vision to Saravetti. Saravetti is going to be in a little bit of trouble, and Grubby is doing this so well right now. This probe can only survive five more hits from the probe of Grubby. Oh, next, this might be the final moment, but the Zealot, the Zealot oh, is going to kill the probe as well. Down. But still. Well, we've got one more probe coming across, but this is basically the last stand of Saravetti. This is the kind of plays that I expected to see out of him in this series. I'm a little sad that it's coming down to game number four when he's down 0-3 from the pull it out. If he wouldn't have lost that first program, with, uh, if you run two probes down, you're almost guaranteed to at least uh, have one of there with quite some HP and drop a pile and... Uh, all right, at least he has a little bit of map vision right now. He's really going to have to drop some cannons. Can he do that? Uh, sorry? Can he get a gateway on the high ground behind his mineral line? No, but he can get a pile and pile is good enough. Uh, this swapping in pilot taking quite some damage as well. That one is going to die immediately. He should have probably tried to get it down way closer to the cannon. So even this probe gets shot down. Grubby doing this fantastic, but Seravetti also messing it up a little bit. Certainly that first probe, that first probe was absolutely crucial. And uh, Grubby even picking off a probe out in the middle of the map. So uh, everything going Grubby's way. If we look at the income tab, 19 harvesters for Grubby, 17 for Seravetti. Uh, no cybernetics core for Saravati. Grubby's cyber core is done. Warpgate is researching, so... Yeah, he's uh, gonna get a stalker right now, and that stalker will be able to take down this pylon or this cannon from the high ground. And that means that this cannon rush is officially over, and Saravati is in once more in a world of trouble, as uh, we already see the stalker on the map. Gate, uh, Warpgate technology is like 33% done, I'd say, one third on the way. So, <laughs> I don't really see a world where he's going to be able to turn this into a normal game. He's going to have to do something really crazy. And that's why he's getting a cannon on top of his ramp as well. He's going to get a robo right now. 
Oh man, but I think Robbie can just go for Blink Stalkers from this point on and be in fantastic position. I think that's exactly what we're going to see. Uh, two pylons will fall for Cervati that will uh, not quite supply block him, but well, I guess now that he's built more stuff, it's going to it's going to lock him out again. Yeah. Uh, so nothing going his way, Ooh. man. Big investment, no return. Robbie's going to go for the wire prison play, man. Five gates and a robotics facility. This has to mean that it's going to be a wire prison play for here. Out of Robbie, he's actually going to start off with an observer. Huh? Hey, okay. Why not? Just to check, make sure he doesn't have to deal with DTs. That is a pretty common follow-up to a failed cheese, yeah. I guess. Oh, he's just going to walk in with uh, on the high ground. Uh, with ah, high, yeah, high ground. that makes sense, okay. too. That makes sense. And as you said, the observer perhaps is a little bit safer than the warp prison play. He doesn't really have to rely on the warp prison right now. Uh, warp gate technology is only around 30% done right now for Saravelli, so he's going to have to buy himself an insane amount of time. He has one cannon. Uh, at the ramp, but Grubby is just going to be able to walk past it. Immortal is in production for Sarah Valley, but then five gates for Grubby right now. He's going to be able to warp in five units at once, and <laughs> that's probably oh, the LC road. Gets past, drops a pylon in the mineral line. This is it, Kev, the final moments of Sarah Valley. He played a great tournament, man, winning all the way through the North American region. Of course, winning the entire uh, amateur section of the open tournament. Make it in all the way to the finals. Oh, zealous around. <laughs> zealous really want to get all. Oh, force field force field. Field. Surround. Grubby still really wants to get that surround. I mean, Grubby could have done a lot of different things right now, but he just wants to try to surround that uh, Immortal. But here we see another big Zealous dropping in right now in the mineral line. Grubby's even going to get a sentry too, so you can zone out that Immortal. That Immortal is going to die immediately. All the probes will die, and Grubby is going to be our champion. Great tournament from Grubby. Of course, uh, he won the European section, narrowly defeating Bling 3-2. Then goes on to the final to meet Sarovati, who he handily dismantled. Sarovati, uh, as we pointed out, won the open tournament, beat a lot of pros to get here, including Cats, including QXC, and including, including Vibe. Uh, so uh, definitely representing North America very well. Uh, but Grubby, the next level of competition, one of the best Europeans. He's been in Korea training and competing there. Uh, clearly, Grubby is a, uh, a, a a tough hurdle in the path of any aspiring pro gamer. Uh, Grubby is a world-class process player, there is, uh, if there is one right now, Ben. Of course, um, he's not the absolute best yet. He is not Rain, he's perhaps not Hero either. But even the Koreans have said that uh, they are really happy to welcome Grubby in the team as they look forward to playing with him. Uh, a player with that amount of experience, and if you give him the right practice conditions, which he definitely has right now, man, this is... Uh, Grubby is looking good. Uh, even though the up and downs did not go all that well for him, I think this is an excellent way for him still to uh, sort of cock, uh, start off the new year. Let's forget about those up and downs, and let's just say that this was his first real tournament experience or appearance, and he was fantastic, man. He played good in the European qualifier, and uh, against Saravetti, he just showed that he's a different caliber right now. $2,000 for Grubby, $1,000 for Saravati. Bling brings home 500 bucks, and Vibe pockets 250 It was a fantastic run, the Alienware Arena. Thank you, Simpatico, for your observing. Huge shout-out to Frodan and Clutch as they provided a lot of commentary along the way. Thanks to Yon Todd Merlo, who casted one of the days with me. Thanks to you, Roddy, as always, for being my better half. Thank you, you guys, for tuning in. It was a lot of fun. Hope you enjoyed the games. Everybody, please cheer for your champion at Follow Grubby. Give and some make love sure to, to Yeah, make sure to check out Sarah Valley as well. Even though he's new, even though this didn't go all that well for him. Uh, he is on Twitter as well. He just started off his Twitter account, I believe. He is at CS, uh, or C Saro Vetti, so C for Clarity Gaming, and then Saro Vetti, S-A-R-O-V-A-T-I. Uh, make sure to follow this guy. He definitely deserves some love, and you might uh, call yourself a hipster fan if he starts owning up stuff in a couple of months from now. That's absolutely right. You can say that you were one of the first. I started following him yesterday, so I'm ahead of the curve. Uh, guys, be sure to check out The Pulse this evening, NASL.TV. We will be de debuting our first eSports talk show. Uh, we have a lot to cover, and I guarantee you Saravati's name will come up. Thank you so much for tuning in, uh, and we will see you guys next time. Take it easy.